My name is David Soranga. I will, I'm also from Tel Aviv. I was born and raised in Tel Aviv. A year ago, I ended my position here as a consul for media and public affairs in New York, which mainly I was responsible for Israel's image here in the States. And after, I'm a career diplomat. I joined the foreign ministry 15 years ago after, after a career in the private sector. One day I decided that I, I need a change and I want to do something which is more interesting, more profound, something that I can feel that I'm contributing to society as well. And then I joined the foreign ministry. And as someone who has a, a master's in marketing, all of a sudden I found myself once again dealing with the same stuff, only that in this case I was mar I'm marketing the state of Israel. So five years ago when I started um, my job here in New York, I remember that a friend of mine showed me something that was called a blog. I didn't know exactly what the blog means, I want to remind you that it's five years ago. And I said, wow, what a great platform and it can serve as a media outlet for, for us, for Israel. And then we created the first official blog of the State of Israel. And back then, it was something very unusual. A government who has a blog, usually governments don't act or don't try to don't uh, bring the, 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 their opinion on a platform which is a blog. And I remember that also people back in the foreign ministry in Jerusalem were criticizing me. I mean, you know, we are diplomats, so we don't do things, we don't criticize directly. But they were, they, they were asking me, the fact that you are investing time in the blogosphere doesn't mean that you are neglecting the New York Times, the New York Times as a metaphor for the mainstream media. And I tried to explain to them that the blogosphere is not instead of the mainstream media and one does not contradict the other. There is one more media outlet or there is one more platform, which is new media, which we have to be there. And if we want to reach the young generation, if we want to reach new audiences, we have to be there. And the time went by and then social media also began to be part of, a, of media. And then we went on YouTube, we went on MySpace, we went on um, Facebook, we went on Twitter, and all of a sudden the mainstream media started to report about these initiatives of the Israeli government, which was the first one, I must say, to use these platforms. And when I say the Israeli government, don't think that there was a policy in Jerusalem saying, okay, we have to enter to the to social media to have to we have to be on new media platforms. No, it was an initiative of the Israeli consulate here in New York, a, acting on behalf of the, of the Israeli government. But, but back home, people not necessarily understood exactly the importance of new media, the importance of this dialogue that we can have with the, the public opinion. And diplomats are also afraid from new media. Diplomats are not not all diplomats, let's put it this way, not all diplomats are technologically savvy. Not all diplomats know how to use these platforms. Uh, most of my colleagues, they are, they, they are used to the old way of communicating your message, which means we are the government, we communicate our message, and that's it. And all of a sudden, they have to enter to a dialogue with the public opinion. Now, I find it exciting, I find it interesting, I find it very important to enter to this dialogue with the public opinion because at the end of the day, I really, as a government, I really want to know what people think about me, what people think about Israel, first. And second, I believe that only through dialogue you can engage people. Only if someone is having a dialogue with you, he can care about you, he can care about Israel. And um, and with that, I'll finish my, my, my introduction. One of the things that people in my system are still afraid is from criticism, which means when you are on social media, you have to be open for, 
criticism. When you are on social media, you have to be open to hear what the other has to say as well. And I think this revolution started, I think this revolution a, a, a reached already a, um, the government, the Israeli government, and I know that it reached also other governments a, a, as well. Um, and I find it as a revolution. I find it as a revolution when governments have, have to, to communicate and to react with, um, with the public.